Good morning. Thank you, Dani, for your presentation. Have you ever thought how much data is generated every day? There is a study from the Northeastern University that says that every day is produced 2.5 exabytes, meaning 2.5, 10 to 18 bytes of data every day. It means that every day is produced 250,000 libraries of Congress considering the printed material. It's, it's vertiginous. And one part of this data is our data, is the research data. This is something that you have into account, the huge amount, amount of data. There is something else. If you remember during the Ebola and Zika outbreak, the, the crisis, the emergency. Do you remember that some uh, researchers share their data as soon as they were produced? Instead of publishing the results in a paper, they wanted the results to get to the whole community because this was the important, not the paper. So collaboration instead of competition. This is some of the things that some believe that has to change. We, as a research group, we are part of Maredata, which there are five different universities and two institutes of the physique, and we are devoted to study and analyze the sharing of research data. <laughs> For us, it was a logical step. Why? There are uh, Agustí Canals, Remedios Melero, Eva Mendes, and many other scientists. It was logical, as I was saying, because in fact, library and information science have been dealing with data since the midst of time. So instead of speaking about documents, books, and records, we are now speaking about data sets. So it was logical for us to analyze and to try to understand how science can change. Because if there is big data as a trending topic, you know there is another word or concept really use that is the digital transformation you listen every day everywhere but can we speak of a digital transformation in a scholarly communication 25 years after the appearance of the first electronic journals we are still saying that the communication the scientific communication is going to change but wh when is going to change 350 years after the appearance of the first journals we are still in the same system, the same uh, critics, the same business models. You see, there is a lot of innovations. It, it, things are changing. We have mega journals, we have repositories, we have social media, we have even an, an illegal platform like SciHub. But things are still more or less the same. So we wanted to study as well how data, how research data can, can change the, the way we diffuse our knowledge. But we also, as information scientists, we have our souls entwined because we are activists. We are in the middle between creators and users. And we, as informational professionals, we want to, to be helping each other. But we also, are, as academia, we want to understand open science. Open science is something broader. It's a new paradigm about how science is going to change. We can say, if you remember, that in 2002, just 15 years ago, there were the Budapest Open Access Initiative, the declaration, 2002, it's near here. But we can say that in Budapest, it all begins. Contigo empezó todo, open access, we could say. <laughs> but this is something that we are constantly moving from the activism to the academic point of view. Okay, but what do scientists say? There is a survey from Fixshare, which is part of digital science, that uh, some of the results, they were saying that 75% of researchers have made available at some point data. But sometimes it's just a PDF, or sometimes a EXL, EX, XLS, or a CSV. It's not the same. 
is not as reusable and it's something to, be into, to take into account. Yes, social scientists, we are really aware of uh, sharing uh, data. But there are two other conclusions that for me are important. It's the need of clear policies for funding, for the institutions, for, from funders. And something that I relate to the party that you were saying, Danny, who is going to pay the party? Who is going to pay for m m making this data available to the whole society? So this is important. And there is always a conclusion, is that the future will be more open. Oh yes, yes, the future, it's always tomorrow, 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 but we want it to be today. It's not, uh, don't wait uh, to tomorrow, you can begin sharing your research data. And this is some of the things that we are doing in Maredata and in Chemo Research Group. For instance, uh, you cannot see the, uh, the screen, but the, in, the, in the presentation it's, it's right, uh, the data sets, there are three ways of uh, spreading and disseminating data sets. One can be as an independent object in a repository. You can put it in Figshare, Zenodo, Dryad, or the institutional one. You can also put it in t with the paper in, in an enriched publication, in the supplementary and the available information that you have in the paper. But there is a, another vehicle that is new that we were studying about. It's the, in a data paper, in a data journals, a new vehicle, a new kind of journals where you can have the data sets describe how it was captured, when, where, why, who can reuse. This is something important. And there are important data journals like scientific data from the natural group, which have a data, a relevant data sets diffused to the community. This is something that uh, we think that can uh, start changing. And the next uh, steps of our research would be go on uh, continuing following with the focusing, with scientists like you, working with the people from journals like the library, we are working with the editorials, with platforms, but also designing the policies. We are part of the Research Data Alliance. We are building the Spanish and Portuguese uh, uh, platform chapter of Research Data Alliance to do it better. But there is something else. We want to do a survey in the university. We are making with Candela Oye and Nuria Ferran a, a, a survey for you, for students. We want to understand if this is a different, best, like others, university. We think we are different because we are open. We have a, a, a distance learning model. We are younger, probably, uh, some of them. Uh, they are part, uh, we have not uh, inertia. We have different disciplines. We want to understand if this university is, are, is different from the others. This is something uh, we want to know and we want you uh, to help us. So just for finishing, two last calls. One of the first one will be that you will receive the survey, I hope um, <laughs> before summer more or less, we, we, we are uh, still making it because we want to understand. I haven't given you reasons because I want you to be honest and not, uh, the, um, uh, I didn't want you to say the reasons. We want them uh, to be uh, really clear from your point of view. But the second part, independently from the survey that I know that you will, you will feel, is that from now on, you help me and please show me your data. Thank you very much. Thank you.